Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's solve this word problem on volume. It says that 376 cc of oil was poured from a tin into a bottle which had 224 milliliters of oil at first. Okay, now this cc over here means cubic centimeters or centimeter cube. Okay, cc is the short for centimeter cube or cubic centimeter. And it's a unit of volume because it's centimeter cube. All right, so 376 cc, that's the volume of oil that was poured from a tin into a bottle which had 224 milliliters of oil at first. If the bottle is now one quarter full, what is the capacity of the bottle? Okay, now here is the thing. There was a tin from which 376 cubic centimeters of oil was poured into a bottle and the bottle already had 224 milliliters of oil. Okay, now a tin can be of any shape actually. It can be rectangular like this or it can be cylindrical like this. And it doesn't matter whether the tin was rectangular or whether it was cylindrical. What is important is the volume of oil that was poured out of the tin into the bottle was 376 cubic centimeters. Okay, so there was also a bottle like this that already had 224 milliliters of oil. Okay, so there was 224 milliliters of oil at first in the bottle. Let's draw that here. Actually, let's paint that here. Let's suppose that this was from here to here was 224 milliliters of oil. Okay, so let's mark that. Let's write that down. This was 224 milliliters of oil. And then some oil from the tin was poured into the container and that raised the level of the oil in the bottle. And now the bottle was a quarter full, one quarter full, okay? Now when we say one quarter full, what we mean is that it's one fourth of the capacity of the bottle, okay? So if this is the capacity of the bottle from here, the top to the bottom, okay? If this is the capacity of the bottle, then one fourth of it is now full, okay? So maybe approximately until here, okay? So it's full or filled until this level, okay? And that was after pouring the oil from the tin. Okay, so let's paint that, this golden yellow. And this dark yellow over here is just to show that this is the existing oil. Okay, the oil that was already there at the bottom. Okay, now let me also mark the volume of this oil. This was 376 cubic centimeter. Actually, this is a very, very simple problem to solve. Now, 376 cubic centimeter is the same as 376 milliliter because one centimeter cube is equal to one milliliter, right? So 376 centimeter cube is 376 ml. Okay, now what do we have to find out? We have to find out the capacity of the bottle. Well, it's quite simple. From here to here is one quarter full, one quarter of the capacity. Okay, now if this is the model for the capacity of the bottle, okay, we write that down here that this is the capacity of the bottle. So this is the capacity of the bottle. Okay, then the bottle had 224 milliliters of oil at first, which means that it had this much oil at first. And this was equal to 224 milliliters. Quite simple, actually. Very simple problem to solve. At first, there was 224 ml of oil. Then 376 cc of oil was poured from the tin into the bottle. So this is 376. Okay, let me write that down here. This is 376 cc, which is as good as 376 ml. Okay, and this was from the tin, from tin. Okay, now what we have to find out is how much is the capacity? It's quite simple. The capacity, if it's divided into 
four equal parts, if this capacity is divided into four equal parts, then these two together form one part, right? Because this is one quarter full. One quarter full means one fourth. So this is one fourth, this is one fourth, this is one fourth, and this is one fourth. So four one fourths make one whole, and one quarter is equal to 224 plus 376. So this is 0, 1, 10, 1, 6. So one quarter is equal to 600 ml. So then how much is the whole? Well, if one fourth is equal to 600 ml, then the whole capacity, the whole four parts will be equal to 600 times 4, as simple as that. So this is 0, 0, 6 times 4 is 24, so 2,400 milliliters. So the capacity of this whole bottle of oil is equal to 2,400 milliliters or 2 liters and 400 milliliters. Well, that's it. That brings us to the end of this word problem, which I hope you understood. It was quite simple, wasn't it? Well, I hope that now you'll go and solve some other word problems as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. Don't forget to practice because practice makes perfect. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.